yellow. So today I started out doing some laundry and I did end up doing several loads, but I only recorded myself doing the whites here. I didn't want it to be super redundant, but I cannot believe that it is already October. I'm just like, where the heck did the year go? Like, holy crap. But I'm excited. I love the fall weather. Today it was super rainy and a little bit chilly and it felt so good. I had the windows opened and had the cool wind in my hair. Yeah, it was it was a ni very nice day to clean up around the house and get things done. So feeling super motivated and I hope that this video motivates you to get some stuff done around the house as well. I think folding laundry is probably up there and one of my favorite household chores to do. Um, I just find it super relaxing and I don't know, I, I, I don't mind doing it at all. That and vacuuming. And as you can see, the way that I fold sheets, I like to gather the points together and I often use my back to lay the sheet out so that it's not hitting the floor. But also I just find using my back is pretty easy for me. And I, the fitted sheets, I haven't really gotten that down too well, but I think I do okay. Um, they're pretty bunchy. If any of you guys have a better way to fold them, definitely let me know. But this is the way that I do it. And now that I think about it, I actually ended up putting these sheets on the beds. So I'm like, really, what was the point of you folding that? But it's okay. It still brought me some inner peace. <laughs> So that's all that matters. I change our sheets once a week. And when you really think about it, I'm like, should you be changing it? more often than that because when you really when you think you're laying in bed for what six plus hours at least and you have sweat and skin particles and all that other stuff that's getting embedded in the sheets and the mattress it's like is once a week really enough I don't know I know you guys just saw that sniff I did. I love the smell of fresh linen. It is my favorite. When I buy candles, I always look for that scent. I just, I love me the smell of some fresh linen. It's, it's magical. It's the best scent ever. That and like cotton, you know, the cotton candle, the cotton um, scent, that's, the, that's really good too. One thing that works really well if you're wanting to disinfect your mattress or just giving give it a really good cleaning is to sprinkle some baking soda on the mattress and kind of just rub it in and let it soak for a couple of minutes and then vacuum it up. I think I have a video or two of that process, but yeah, that's something that I like to do, I don't know, just sparingly. Um, every once in a while just to ensure that the mattress stays, you know, clean and disinfectant, at least in my mind.
And this white protector that I'm putting down on my son's mattress um, his grandma and grandpa bought for him and I'm super glad that they did because he's been having accidents in his bed lately and it's from his diaper like the the top of his diaper or like the sides of his diaper um, pee will come out and I don't know why that's been happening I thought maybe the diapers that we've been buying him are too small or too big but I checked again and the diapers we've been buying are within his weight range so I'm not sure why that's happening, but definitely a good investment if you have small children. Um, this mattress is pretty new. We bought it a couple of months ago, so I'm really glad that they got that. Definitely check it out. And I'm not even sure where they got that, so I don't know why I'm telling you to check it out. And so I am just going through my son's shoes here. I like to do this often, go through his clothes and shoes and get rid of things that are too small and no longer fit him. I will donate those items or give them away. And I'm, I noticed, I was like, oh my goodness, there's a couple pairs of shoes that he's already outgrown that he hasn't even worn. And I'm just like, oh man, I hate when that happens, but you know. Kids grow so freaking quick, it's crazy. And these stuffed animals that I'm putting on his upper rack are and just stuffed animals that he's had in his bin that he doesn't really play with, but stuffed animals that are sentimental. So I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm just lining them on the on the top rack, and then the um, basket he can you you know I can utilize that for something else. I think I threw a new pair of sheets that he got in there, and then I'll probably toss some blankets in there as well. I'm just showing you the mop bucket that I use. It's the cedar mop bucket from Sam's Club. And what I like to do is get another bucket and put it inside of the mop bucket. So that way I'm not dipping back into dirty water to clean the floors. But now that I really think about it, you still, I mean, I'm still dipping the dirty mop in the clean water. So I'm like, does that really make sense? But it, I don't know, it just, it makes me feel better. I don't know why, but anyways, in the orange bucket, what I normally use is I'll put a lot of hot water and some lemon Lysol and a little bit of bleach. And I find that that works very, very well when mopping my hardwood floors. I really like this mop because it comes with multiple heads. I believe when you buy the the package, you it comes with four, and all you have to do is just pop it off, rinse it off, or actually you don't really even have to rinse it off, just throw it in your washer and reuse it. It's really convenient and I think a, a pretty good mop.
you're going to see me struggle with this. I'm like, why did you think that this was going to fold? But I was like, okay, where I'm going to mop the floor. Where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? <laughs> and then finally I was like, okay, I, it's not going to go anywhere. I just put it on the ground and mopped one side of the room at a time, let it dry. And then I mopped the other side. <laughs> You guys probably can't see but oh the trees are so beautiful outside they're definitely turning and it's like just such a beautiful sight to see I love fall and I love the fall weather and I am totally dreading winter I hate the snow I hate everything about it I dislike being cold I do not I especially hate driving in the snow goodness and yeah, I just totally become, I hibernate. I just, I, I'm not a, I'm not a snow person. And you would think that I'd be used to it by now because I've lived in Colorado for years, over 20 years. So, but nope, still don't like it. Trying to vacuum this rug is an absolute, absolute, absolute nightmare. It so this shark vacuum has the floor carpet detector, so you can like switch it from back and forth. And the carpet is so awkward because it's like in between that floor and carpet. If I put it on carpet, when I try to run over it, it will suck it up and stop so quick. So I have to put it on the floor mode, and it still does the same thing. It's Super frustrating. I think what I dislike most about mopping is having to wait for everything to dry. I Once I get in the mode and I'm in the groove of doing something, I just like to go, go, go and get things done, especially having a little one that's, you know, all up in your business all the time and always wanting to help. But yeah. nice and clean. I love when the floors are done and it smells like lemon in the house. It's such a good feeling. And then when you get in the bed and the sheets are all nice and clean, that smell. Yes. Yes, ma'am. hope this inspired you guys to get some cleaning done around the house and I seriously appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful week.